Hi there, my name is Sam, I'm a graphic designer, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this Italian lemon aesthetic into a ready to use brand color palette in just five minutes. I love these colors together. I started with thinking about lemons and how I really wanted to create like a lemon inspired palette. And I love this lean into like Italian lemon cello, the Amalfi Coast, Capri. I just love the blend of these yellows from the lemon and the blues from the ocean and the natural landscape. I think this is gonna be a really fun one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually make a mood board. So I've imported some of my images and I'm just going to drag and drop them into this mood board maker. I love this image so much. I love these like warm blues with the lemon yellows. I think that's just such a fun combination. Um, I also really love this image. I don't know if it's like a butter or gelato or icing, but the textures are just so yummy to me. Um, okay, I feel like we have to have this like champagne umbrella image in here. And I really like this tree archway vibe. I'm almost getting like some oranges in here that might be fun to play with. And I'm kind of getting some oranges in these umbrellas that I like. Um, I really like that image. Yeah, that's a fun one. Um, okay, and I like these like beachy poolside vibes. Um, so I'm going to add that in here. I'm actually going to move that one down here. Uh, the sunglasses photo, I think that one's a must. Let's see what else. Okay, this pattern, um, I think this is like a tile-y pattern. That's super important. The rich blues from this just we have to have in our mood board. Have I brought this one in? No, I think I want this one. Yeah, I like this. I like this oceany blue a little bit more. Okay, I can name my mood board and I'm gonna save it to my account so that I can save it for later. And then I'm going to click uh, get PNG and I'm going to export this mood board so that I can put it into my color palette tool. The tool I'm gonna use today is Color Palette Pro and I'm just going to choose the DIY style and I'm going to upload my mood board right into this color palette builder. So I've uploaded my mood board. Now I'm gonna choose how many colors I want to have in this palette. Um, I'm gonna actually choose nine. I think nine sounds like a fun palette size to work with. I can always try fewer colors if I want. Um, like maybe if I wanna try just six colors, I do that. Ooh, this is a fun place to start. Okay, um, I'm just gonna generate, get a feel for the colors. Oh, I liked that pop of green with these blues. Okay, I think I want nine colors now that I see these. Okay, now I'm gonna start like locking colors that I really like. So I really like this lemon yellow. Mm, and then now I'm gonna keep generating. Ooh, okay, and I like this slightly softer yellow. I'm in love with this blue. I'm in love with this blue. <laughs> uh, I kind of like this orange, but I think I want something brighter. So I'm gonna keep generating. Mmm, this is really fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna start like hand building this one a little bit. So this red, I'm not really as in love with, so I'm actually going to pull through this orange and change this to be more of like an orange color, which I think will work really nicely with those yellows. Um, and let's see what else. I got, I've got a good mix of blues. I think I want like a really soft yellow. So now what I'm gonna do is pull in you know what, I'm gonna pull in a yellow I already have and then just soften it up a little bit so I have like a more pastel version, like a buttery version. Um, and I don't think I want this blue, so I'm gonna get rid of that, but I do like this green. Okay, now I'm gonna look at all these colors together with my mood board. And the only color that's standing out to me is this orange, which I added by hand, so I'm gonna try softening it a bit, adding a little bit more dustiness to it. I think that works. Okay, okay, I really like these colors. I think they're super fun. Um, now I'm going to name the colors and I could just like name them anything, but I'm going to actually add in um, our uh, custom theme and then I'm gonna click name colors and I'm gonna see what kind of fun names it comes up with. Okay, this is really fun. I don't speak Italian, <laughs> um, but I know that means olive and I think that's really cool. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I hope all these names are like accurate, but we're gonna go, I think it's really cute that it named them Italian things. Okay, I think that's Sky. Yeah, oh, so fun. Um, all right, and now 
I'm going to test my color palette for contrast. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to um, view all the text and background pairs. So it looks like we have 56 total pairs and I can view all the contrast scores and how the text and backgrounds look together. Now I can already tell that this is gonna be what we call a low contrast palette, meaning there aren't very many pairs that have high contrast scores. None of them have a 4.5 or higher score. So what I'm gonna do is click this button to get more pairings, and I'm going to select a dark neutral and a light neutral, and I'm gonna add them to my palette. So when I do that, it's going to automatically increase my contrast and my options. I'm gonna name these colors too. So let's go ahead and name these guys. Okay, perfect. So now we have this updated palette and if I go over to the color contrast tester, I can view all the text and background contrast scores that have a 4.5 or higher score so much more usable. Um, so I'm gonna select my favorite pairs. I like a lot of these. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, this is gonna be such a fun palette to use. I really love this combo. I think this is delicious. Wow. I think the orange really brings, like the orange and the green I can see being used as more accent colors and I think that they bring um, a lot of like groundedness to the palette and keep it from being too like cutesy with just blues and yellows. Like I, I really think that this is what makes it a true Italian aesthetic is having these guys in here. I don't really like any of the dark backgrounds. I don't think they match the original aesthetic that we were going for. So I'm gonna not include those. Um, I'm going to save this palette so that it matches um, the name and that I can access it later. And then I'm going to click export and I'm going to choose what kind of color codes I want in here. So I don't really use HSL, I don't use CMYK, so I'm gonna just do hex codes, RGB, color names, and the approved color pairings. And now I can view my full color palette and my approved pairings. I can download these and add them to my brand guidelines. Okay, so you tell me, what do you think of this vibe and aesthetic? And how do you feel about the mood board that we created? Are there any colors that you would have included? I'm also so curious, what kind of brand do you think would use a color palette like this? Thanks for watching. I hope that you feel creative and inspired.